Get him go. Lester, I'm going yeah. to I'm going to prison for a million years because of you. Well, that would make sense because the SDSO and Criss Cross seem to take three days to get to whatever they're trying to do here. So I'm, I'm surprised they're arresting you now. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, but I just so, thought... so Sexton said I could conflict you out of everything if I explain this to you. No, nah, it's not going to conflict her. It's just if well, they ask her just, questions again. Just say you're conflicted and then don't say anything else. But, okay. That's always so worse me, than the judges. Tell me what happened. I don't even know what fucking happened. Here, here's, what hap here's what happened. Art... Everyone would left the thing, uh, and, you know, and we were just in the lobby. Everyone's memeing, and Art smacks me out because, you know, me and Art were just messing. Demi, you know how Demi is. She, Demi and Art are friends and all that. She tries to stab Art, um, but she uh, doesn't hit Art. She hits a, Nancy, Nancy a tiny bit, and she actually ends up stabbing this random Sebastian Birch motherfucker guy. Okay. That's literally it. That's literally it. Like, the the whole lobby didn't even, like, nobody was, like, even, like, I mean, okay, I was carried out, but, like, nobody even really cared. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, it was an accidental stabbing. Nancy was like, oof, I should go to the doctor. Art was just messing around. And then Sebastian Birch guy, who knows Demi. And then some random person calls, identifies Demi. And Artorias, Criss Cross, here we go, a great police detective here. Criss Cross told Artorias who made the 911 call. <laughs> who and did it? Some A person named uh, Akira or something like that. Just... Sexton, Criss Cross told Artorias who made the 911 call, by the way. I'm going to let you know that. Oh. Ah, literally, this, and Demi doesn't know her. I don't know her, how she knows Demi, but then Demi was like, well, I guess I'm pretty popular. I was like, whatever. What the that's fuck? It. That's it. And then Sebastian at the hospital, he retracted his he retracted some details, and I was snooping on them, because the all the SDSO like four fucking SDSO people came, and like were investigating us at the hospital essentially, like they weren't actually like doing anything. They were just like, they like they like fucked up the investigation. They didn't. We ran into the the Ingvar guy. As Demi was carrying me out, and like we literally, like right after it happened, but he's like, "Did anybody get stopped here?" And then we said no, and then we left. And they fucking show up at the hospital. We'd already changed clothes and everything. It's just like, it's just like these guys like fucked up this investigation so bad. My investigations take place on warehouses for eight hours. That's what I do. Yeah, well, these guys' investigation is don't actually catch the criminal at the place uh and then take three hours to get anywhere to, invest to investigate anyone and then by the time that you start interrogating people everyone's heard about it and like literally every chris cross is like he's like oh have you heard about what happened i was like yeah everyone's talking about it <laughs> because of the way you My guys God. are doing this investigation anyway, i told you happened. how he got me into the interrogation room right he calls me on my phone i'm he interrogated you or yeah, he won't kind of questioned me. Uh, He's like, hey, can you come down? I have some questions. I'm like, okay, um, can you talk to Pawn? She's another sergeant. He's like, no, um, I want to talk to you about them. I'm like, all right, I'll come down in a bit. I come down. He's, and I'm like, what do you want? And he's like, let's go to the interrogation room. It's quieter. I'm like, oh, that's fair. And then he turns the recording on. He's like, you know your rights. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what <Yeah>. the hell? <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, I'm going to question you about oh, the courthouse. Okay. I'm like, what? He basically it was the most awkward he, shit. He basically I got said it all that, uh, okay. that you and Demi colluded or witness tampered essentially is what he said. What? Yeah, because remember how we were talking outside? Yo, he's trying right. to push that. Well, I don't know if he's pushing it, but it's also not like it's literally not witness tampering because there was no threat or in, like literally has to be a threat, right? That, that's the part of or some kind of deal or something like there wasn't. But it's so like, the way this would have to go warehouse, if you wanted warehouse, to push warehouse. charges, where we go? Back to warehouse. I'm just cle I'm like clearing it out. Oh, we're clearing it out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm moving um, all the wax and stuff to the store. Um. So the way you'd have to push it on like Demi and I, if it were to happen, you have to push it on the docket and then prove it in court. But if this one goes to court, Demi will obliterate him. Yeah, they don't have the fucking knife. They don't have the knife, but they also don't have the law skills that Demi has. I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you what happened with the knife. It was.